What's up everybody? Um, welcome back to Indian Hand, our YouTube channel. As you guys know, um, from my Instagram and everything, we were supposed to film a college week in my life this week, um, but everything changed when I was cooking chicken and showing you guys a recipe that I was making, um, and I'm going to explain to you guys what happened um, with my face, how I got burned, what went through my head when I was getting burned, the comments. Um, that I've gotten, the encouragement I've gotten, what to say and what not to say, and how I feel towards everything, um, and just some things that are on my mind that I want to share about my whole incident. Alright, so, um, quick synopsis of how it happened. I was cooking chicken. I put olive oil in the pan. It was a big, um, chicken breast of breaded chicken, and it was stuffed, and I was cooking the one side in oil and then with a spatula I flipped it over to, to cook the other side and um, the oil from the pan flew all over my face, all over my arm um, and immediately, um, oh actually I'm going to show you guys the video right now so you guys can see it. So immediately, as you guys can tell, I didn't scream, I didn't do anything, I ran straight to my bathroom. I truly thought I was blind. Um, if you can tell this all right here, the grease got me all here um, in my eyebrow and everything. Um, I thought I lost vision in my right eye. I was, I ran straight to my bathroom, was pouring cold water on my face, freaking out, calling my mom, calling my dad. My dad's an orthopedic surgeon, so he has dealt with scars and scarring and partial burns and stuff like that so I asked him some questions of what to do and took um, his instructions from there. He ordered me Silvadine cream which is like a silver sulfate whatever type cream. Um, basically it's used on burns to help heal them and help uh, prevent infection but anyway he ordered me that cream um, and told me you know to keep cold water on it I started having a meltdown. I wanted to be strong, but at that moment I just started bawling, crying. I was in the most pain I've ever been in my entire life. Um, I was just crying and saying, you know, I'm going to be deformed for the rest of my life. Like, I'm going to have scars all through my face once these heal up. I'm never going to look the same. Um, I model for a boutique in town. Like, I can't do my job. And I had to coach a class in an hour and I couldn't work. And um, just thinking about everything and thinking about how my face is going to change uh, really put me down and I was just screaming and crying and freaking out and he just was like, you know, you need to calm down, um, you're going to be fine, you're going to be fine, we'll see how the burns are going to heal, you don't know what's going to happen, you need to stay calm, um, just remind me to be strong and to stay calm, so he calmed me down. Um, I called Andrew, he was already on his way, um, and he came over and helped me. Um, I put ice all over the burns, which was not what I was supposed to do. Um, you think that when you get burns, you're supposed to put ice on them. Well, direct ice is actually bad for the healing process and bad for burns. So I was told that by one of my followers who actually messaged me, and then um, the pharmacist as well. So that was going on. Um, by the time Andrew got there and I was talking to everyone else, I stayed pretty calm. I called my work and I told them I couldn't come in. Um, and I talked to Andrew and my mom and I stayed pretty calm then. And then I went to Walgreens to pick up the medicine. And then she told me to take the ice off of it because it was really bad for it. So I took the ice off and immediately was pacing back and forth in Walgreens screaming. Um, because of how much pain I was in. Um, it is unbearable. Um, it felt like my whole face was on fire and I just wanted to rip it off and it was it was really rough. Um, my face then went from burning to bubbling so my face started bubbling up and then I um, got this numbing cream to help it. That helped to the pain a little bit and um, then I got the other cream and asked questions and dealt with all of that. Um, after that, I went to bed um, that night and I had nightmares or night terrors or whatever you want to call them. Um, it was really hard for me to go to sleep or to sleep at all because I kept having dreams of being burned by the oil and what that felt like again. Um, I kept 
trying, you know, tossing and turning, but I couldn't turn my face because it hurt so much and I didn't want it to touch the pillow. And then um, uh, just kind of just screaming and crying and waking up and just little little things here and there. But that was how my night went. I kept think waking up from the nightmares thinking that my face would be fine and it was all a dream or a nightmare and it wasn't. And that was kind of the hardest part was waking up the next morning looking at my face and saying, okay, this is what it is. <laughs> um, I posted a lot about it because I don't care to make my life private in a lot of different ways. There are some moments that I think should be private, but it is my decision of how I disclose my life. And I thought that, um, you know, people are going to see me anyway, so what's the point of hiding? Um, I am a very confident person, so I'm thankful that this happened to me because I feel like um, not that I handled it well or can can walk around and be fine, um, but I'm pretty confident in who I am and I know it's going to heal and I know it's going to get better and so I just have to kind of toughen it out until then. So that's what happened. Um, uh, people are saying, that, oh, like you're so strong because I went the next day to Thanksgiving. Okay, so the morning of Thanksgiving, I did not want to go, um, but you know, my parents told me uh, that I need to go. They wanted to see me. Andrew told me that I need to go and he wanted to see me. So I put my cream on like I'm supposed to. I got dressed and I was like, okay, this is what it is. I'm just gonna go and see everyone and just tough it out. Um, I walked outside and my whole face turned black. The silver, silvating cream, um, when I walk outside, the silver in the silvating cream oxidates and turned my face gray and then black. Um, so like all along here, I had just a black, um, just gross looking face. and. That's when I started having another panic attack. I um, freaked out, started shaking, started screaming, started crying. Um, I just, it was, it was really hard to look at and really ugly. And um, it was just, it was a hard moment to deal with. So I FaceTimed my parents and I showed them and I was like, I don't know what to do. And I couldn't touch the cream because you're not supposed to wash the cream off. You're supposed to let it sink in. So. I just had to go to Thanksgiving with all this and black all over and um, with my fiance's family. Um, my fiance's family and my family have Thanksgiving together so I got to see everyone and have everyone kind of see me like that. So Andrew um, on the car ride you know, was like, okay, if you really want to, you can stay home, um, but I would really love for you to tough it out and I know it's going to be hard, but you know, we love you and we don't care what you look like and you know, saying all those things. Um, and so eventually I stopped crying. I didn't want to get out of the car when we got there, but he was like, you gotta get out sometime. So I got out and I faced it and I showed everyone my face and dealt with all of that. And then my parents got to Thanksgiving and my dad um, had gotten saline spray and a bunch of stuff to clean the wounds because they had not been cleaned. I just put cream on them. So he took me in the bathroom and cleaned up my face and then put more cream and stuff on it after and some aloe. Um, and vitamin E and stuff like that. So we were, it was better then. And then the rest of the day, you know, I posted a picture of what my face looked like, I toughed it up and that was fine. Um, it normally just gets hard around, you know, going to sleep and waking up. Those are the toughest times because it's hard to sleep. Um, it's hard not to turn my face. It's hard to stay still um, while I'm having nightmares. It's, it's hard to wake up and then look at myself and be reminded of this is what I look like. And, you know, I'm not trying to, be dramatic or be, um, you know, obnoxious about this whole thing, but, um, you know, it is true that, like, no one else, no one knows, like, unless you've, like, been through something similar, and people will message me, another thing is, like, what people message me, okay, let's go into that, um, some things people message me, you know, I love, everyone's like, oh, yeah, you're so beautiful, um, you know, we still love you, and you're beautiful inside and out, and you're so strong, and you're so this, I love that, thank you, thank you, I'm glad it wasn't worse, I'm glad I didn't lose my vision, I'm very lucky I did not lose my vision, um, I am strong in knowing that, I don't just start crying all the time and freak out, that's not how it is, um, but, you know, there's some moments are harder than others, um, Anyway, people's comments. So I love like I love the support. I love the encouragement. It means more to me than you guys know to have people. You know, so many people reach out and care about me. It's it means a lot. Um, what I don't like is when people say things like use tongs next time, or you should have gently placed the chicken down, or you should have done this, or you should have done that. Obviously, look at my face. Do you think I know that I made a mistake? Yes. Do you think I'm going to be more careful next time? 
yes, you don't say that to someone that just went through something like this. That's just not at all what I want to hear. It just makes me angry. So please refrain from, if you know anyone that got into an accident, don't tell them what they did wrong and all this stuff because that's just kind of assumed. Like, I'm, I'm reaping the consequences of that. Do you think next time I'm going to flip the chicken as hard as I can down? No. Okay, clearly I'm going to do something different next time. Another thing I don't like is when people say, oh yeah, like, like it's fine, you know, I got a lot of messages saying I burn my arm so I can't imagine what it's like to burn your face. Um, yeah, like I, that's, that's true, that's fine, I don't get bothered by that, but then when people say, you know, oh I burn my arm or I burn myself or I've had nightmares or I've done this so I know what you're going through or um, it's going to be fine, like I, I, I know you're going to be fine and I, I've been through the same thing or I've been through something similar and you haven't been through something similar, I burn my arm. I have, I had, um, uh, was it, it was 12 burns on my arm, um, and then just too many to count on my face, um, because I got all my chin and my eye and everything, um, and on the one right here too. Um, I burn myself on my arm. I know what it's like to burn myself on my arm. It is nothing compared to burning your face. Um, nothing. The pain doesn't compare. I, and to even show you guys what I mean, I burned my whole arm. Um, I did not even know that my arm was burned until an hour and a half after I was burned. I looked down at my arm and I raised my sleeve and I saw that I was burned all of my arm. I didn't even feel it. I mean, I didn't even, that was how much it compared to your face. It doesn't compare. So, um, please don't tell me that, you know, you know what you're going through, you know, you know, the, you know that my pain, you don't, you don't know, um, unless you've been through something like that. I mean, I would never go up to someone where I've gone through something similar and say, oh, I know what you're going through. I've gone through the same thing. No, because that's just not true. You have no idea what it's like. If you've gone through something similar or worse, um, I totally get that. Then I will be like, yes, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for you. I can feel that. That's something different. But if you've burned your finger or burned your arm, um, that's not exactly what I want to hear when I have my whole face <laughs> deformed. Um, but other than that, um, everyone has just been super, super great. And I'm not mad about other comments if um, you guys were some of the people that made those comments. I'm just letting you know from my perspective, like what to say and what not to say to comfort someone or someone that's going through something like this. Or like attitudes of like, maybe you've had an attitude of, oh, she's being obnoxious about it. Or, oh, like who cares? Or, oh, like she deserves it. Or, oh, anything. I'm not saying anyone's feeling that way because... Um, no one said anything like that to me, but I know that there are unsaid things um, going on in people's heads. Some people are just full of hate, and some people are full of negativity, and that can be going through their mind, and that's just never a good mindset to have, especially when something like this kind of drastic happened. Um, but all in all, I just want to thank you guys for your support and your encouragement because it, it actually does mean a lot. My friends have been amazing, you know, visiting me, bringing me things. Um, Andrew's been a great support, making me laugh. Um, making jokes, uh, just and then also like being there for me and helping me with everything. And my parents have been great, um, just helping me with anything I need. So um, thank you to everyone for your support. So that's what happened. That's, the, that's what I was kind of going through mentally, the comments and everything. Um, going forward, uh, you know, I posted a video on Instagram, like my next workout video. Um, Sorry, my face like will go through things where it'll like intensely itch and I want to itch it so bad, but I can't itch it because it is burned. <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, I posted a video on Instagram uh, of a bicep workout and some people, you know, were coming to like take care of you and all this stuff. That is great. Okay, I know to take care of myself. <laughs> um, I, you know, have been resting. Um, there are some type, and there, this is what I want to talk about too. There are two types of people. Like one type of person, like me. Um, there are people out there like me who would just go, 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 and I love it. I don't, I don't not like it. I love being busy. I thrive when I'm busy. I love going places and doing things. I feel like I have a purpose. I feel like I'm just sharing the light that I have. I'm sharing the gifts that the Lord gave me. I love doing that and and I love that so that is my personality so not doing things is hard for me resting is hard for me it's hard enough for me to have to sit in my bed all day for some people that's easy some people are like oh I love resting and it's hard for me to go do things I'm the complete opposite I feel like I'm wasting my time I feel like I should be doing other things I hate laying down and resting um but it's necessary clearly sometimes so like I, it's it's a mental battle for me, and it's a uh, it's hard for me. So like I know like I'm going to be taking care of myself. I'm going to be resting. Like I'm not an idiot. I did want to go to a spin class 
uh, yesterday morning and um, clearly I cannot <laughs> it was hard for me not to go um, but uh, I can't work out until uh, I've scabbed up a little bit more because I can't get sweat on my face. Um, I cannot do, and this is, so this is the aftermath of what I can't do. I can't work out for a little bit. When I do get cleared to work out and sweat a little bit more, I will be posting workout stuff just like normal, but it will take me some time. Um, and that's just for me to like, let you guys know, like, I obviously will get back to like, posting content, like, all that stuff. I'm just taking it, obviously, slow. Um, you don't realize the, you don't realize the beautifulness of like the little things in life until you can't do them anymore. And I just posted on Instagram literally two weeks, like the day before I got burned. Like I'm thankful for my health, I'm thankful that I can walk, and that is still true. Now I'm even more thankful for my vision. Um, I really, like I said before, do not know how I did not lose my vision in my right eye. It's truly a miracle that it didn't get in because you can, um, let's see. I don't know if you like you can totally see, but it burned literally almost up to my eyeball, um, all around here. Um, <clears throat> so it, it it really got <sighs> everywhere, and it's a miracle that I did not lose my uh, right eye. Anyway, I can't wrap my lips around anything, so I, it's very hard for me to drink. I have to kind of drink out of a cup and have the cup rest, and then slowly do everything. It's hard for me to drink. I can't wrap my mouth around a straw or around a lid or anything. Um, I can't open my mouth more than this. I just I can't smile more than this. Um, I can't eat anything unless it's through a fork, um, which you don't think about it, but that's like tacos and sandwiches, chicken, like everything, unless it is with a fork and can be cut up. That's what I can eat. Uh, soups and sauces and everything like that isn't just a no. Um, I cannot wear makeup for three weeks, more or less, um, which is not a big deal because I do wear makeup um, every day, but I don't wear like loads and loads of it. Um, so as I'm not too terrible, I'm blessed with pretty pretty good skin. I'm thankful for that. Um, obviously not right now, but um, uh, that is something that I have to deal with. I have to go out and I have to you know deal with people staring at my face and deal with people you know giving me looks and. Um, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of confidence to be able to just go out and just not care and move past everyone staring at you. Like, I'm not trying to be dramatic, but it is it is pretty hard. Um, anyway, um, that, and then, um, so I literally, I went into my bathroom and I took away all my makeup and took away everything and then I put all my medicine and so... My bathroom looks a little bit different on my counter. Um, I can't put anything in my hair or do my hair. Um, it may look a little bit wet and greasy um, because showering and bathing also is a big deal. Um, I have to kind of slowly take a lukewarm bath. I cannot get my arm wet because it has burns all over it. I can't get my chin or my face wet. So I kind of have to lay back and slowly um, with one arm, you know, wash myself. And then I have to have someone else help me wash my hair. And I can't get my hair lined because then the water could get on my face. Um, so that's been difficult. Um, and then coaching, um, I took off because I need to rest my face. Um, but I will be back this week coaching because that is kind of like I won't have to sweat for that. And I'll be able to kind of protect myself. But also that means putting my face in front of everyone again. Um, and I know I did that to myself by posting on Facebook and Instagram, but in my opinion, that's how I wanted to handle it, um, and that should be respected. Um, just like I would respect anybody who's going through anything similar or worse or completely different, um, everyone handles their situations differently. This is how I'm handling mine. Um, I'm very confident that I know that if I do have some scarring, I will be okay. If I don't and I'm lucky, that would be amazing. I'm taking every precaution. Um, so I also hate when people like tell me what to do or tell me what to put on this or tell me what to do this. I'm open to suggestions, but it's a suggestion. I will do whatever I want because it is my face, it is my situation. Um, I don't like people telling me what to do or telling me this or telling me that. I will listen to my doctor and trust his expertise, but other than that, like I respect your experiences and situations and I will listen and I will take advice, but in the end I will do um, what I think is best for my face and that should be respected. Um, yeah, how I deal with things, um, it takes a lot, um, coming away, just knowing how everything's going to change and how my schedule is changing and 
I have a lot going on. It's the holiday season and it's finals and it's I have work, I have jobs and I'm a go, 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 just having to stop and then also like looking at myself, like everything is just pretty hard, but I'm very lucky to have people surrounding me, helping me out through it. I'm very lucky to have a savior who loves me no matter what I look like and what um, what, what I'm going through, he's there with me and that's really comforting. Um, and I think it just depends, like I think my character and y'all's character depends on how you deal with situations like this. Um, don't let them get you down and don't let them make you you know hide yourself or be angry with the world because that's not going to do anything good for you you have to move forward with it and stay strong and confident in who you are and people are going to look people are going to judge people are going to say whatever they want and if you guys know me i've never cared what people think or what people say or what people um, are going to do and that's how you are you're defined of how you respond and it shows a lot of it shows a lot of character how you respond to situations when life throws you curveballs when a family member passes away or when you go through a life-changing event or when something happens unexpectedly and just it feels like your world's crashing down um, how you handle those things and what you fall on and who surrounds you that just shows a lot of your character and who you are as a person and I'm choosing to look on the brighter side of things I'm thankful for my vision I'm thankful that I can walk I'm thankful that this will pass um, I'm thankful that I have people that you know love me and are surrounding me and I'm thankful for um, a God who loves me and who is there to provide inner peace and strength for me every day um, and I'm just really thankful for everything so again um, moving forward I don't really know what we're gonna film this coming week um, I just got a lot going on um, and I know people are like well take care of yourself don't worry about us but like again like taking care of myself is something that I'm doing, I'm prioritizing, but I also love being busy and putting content out for you guys. It's not that I feel like I have to or I owe it to you. I feel it because that's what I love to do. When you love to do something, it doesn't feel like working and it doesn't feel like doing things. And some people don't get that. <laughs> a lot of people don't get that actually. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, well you're busy and that just sounds ter terrible and you need to do this and you need to do that. Don't tell me what I need to do because I do things that I love to do. I don't do them because I have to do them or because I feel obligated to do them. I do them because it's what I love and it's what I'm passionate about and I love being purposeful and sharing light with others and sharing ideas that I have with other people and sharing my content with you guys. I personally love that. So um, just know that whatever is coming next will come next and I'll be sharing stuff with you guys. Thank you for your support. Sorry this is a longer video, but I wanted to share everything that I'm going through with you guys, just to be honest, because I believe being open and being vulnerable and being honest about things um, is the way to go in this world, and I, that's just where I am right now. So thanks again, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.